Hey everybody, I figured out my problem with Quadrax. Um, I got some good tips from IntelliJaw support um, why the first um, channel wasn't working correctly with my envelopes. So it's really kind of IntelliJaw support. Help me on this. Um, what I had to do was put it in system boot mode. Um, there was a special way to do that. You have to go um, into that and set it back to the defaults. Because what I did probably was when I assigned the CV values, I didn't take it out of these assignment modes, and it probably was attenuating the volumes, which is why I wasn't getting any volumes out of my oscillators from the first channel. But I fixed that, and now it's working great. So uh, I did another test just now, a real simple patch, um, with two triggers coming out of the first two gates of my Variegate 4, set to gate mode. And then I have my Richter anti-oscillator um, patch from Mayhem to the Borg filter and then I have the Borg filter um, go into my quad VCA IntelliJ, which I love, it's a great VCA, um, into um, the first input then on my Quadrax. Um, so these two triggers are to the first two gates on my Variegate. Then on the outputs, I have the first output going um, on, from the Quadrax to the one volt per octave on my Richter anti-oscillator. It's kind of hard to see. So that way it can modulate the pitch. Then I have the um, second um, output on the Quadrax. It's kind of hard to see going from the Quadrax to the CV on my Quad VCA. So it can function as an envelope on a volume which is working as intended. And so when I turn it back up, you can hear the changes and I'll go through the modes quickly on this. So we have on the first mode. So this is not a wave shaper. I made a mistake in my last video saying it was a wave shaper. Someone corrected me. This just changes um, the envelope duration. So you can go from a real snappy quick envelope. So it changes the envelope. And so default mode, have this all the way. So you're gonna hear that slower attack decay. Sounds like birds chirping. And the second one. Sounds cool. Change how opens and closes the volume. So that's pretty cool. So that's the first mode. Change it. I can see how cool I can get this sound when I figure this out. I'm really liking
liking function generators a lot. See how quiet it is? Wow. I barely even have my volume turned up. <laughs> this is too funny. I think I do want to cut off my filter too and see how that works. Worst mode. This, is, this um, oscillator can do a lot of stuff. Do a pretty good bass line. Bass is pretty good on it. See how quiet it got? Cause it's uh Then there's a special mode, of course. You hold this long press. So yeah, now it's quiet. So now if you change it back. And you can look, you can see the voltage changing on my oscillator in the quad VCA. So yeah, to reiterate, this is going to the second trigger. So that is like an envelope affecting the VCA opening, closing, modifying it. Then this cable, which is the second output, is going to the pitch. And then both the output are going to the bar gate. So this is, I think this is the free oscillator or whatever you call it mode. That sounds cool. Oh no, the police are coming in. It's a siren.
You can mix and match. Wow. I had a sudden volume change. That was impressive. See how it spiked my volume change? And then you can modify that too. You got your VCA. You can reduce attenuation. So, yeah, I barely even have this open. So you can, nice thing about the quad VCA is you can modify these things. You got a boost switch here if you want to boost it signal. too loud. So he just changes. See, I barely even have the volume turned up. Probably should turn these down a bit. Kind of sums up. So it's not working. So if I turn the free cycle more off. We can swap them out too. So if we want to change the positions, right? So we can do this. I'm just going to keep the triggers the same. Because I swapped it out with pitch and VCA. But yeah, I see a lot of potential in this function generator. The more I, I experiment with it, create a lot of variations and patterns. loud I barely even have my it's like the volumes are so low on my mixer settings see I like how you can change the rise and fall
Anyways, I'm glad I figured it out, and thanks to IntelliJ's support on the instructions on how to reset um, the settings on this. Because sometimes if you assign them CV and you don't reset them, you'll have problems, and you got to go into System Boot and reset them. But it's just another powerful feature. Um, I kind of messed around with CV A through B to modulate pitch and things like that, which is cool. But so far, using these tr four tricks and four outputs is really powerful. And then the Quadrox module is really good because you got an additional eight gates you can modulate. So on some modules, um, like Curses, you have a lot of patch points you can modulate in and on it. But some of the Cytaridus, you have a lot as well. Um, some of them you don't have that many, like on the anti-oscillator, I don't have that many, just pitch mainly. And then on the basic VCO, you have a couple, but not many. But some modules have lots of modulation points. And I think the beauty of the Quadrax and Kermit, because Kermit is a super modulator as well, um, is that when you have a module like um, noise engineering or IME modules that have a lot of modulation patch points, you can create a lot of variety in your patches with, with Quadrax and Kermit, so that helps a lot. 